Good evening. My name is Troy Sharp. Um, I'm here with a legendary bass player, Slim. Slim, uh, I met about uh, three years back, walking the streets. Uh, one afternoon, uh, we ended up on the same side of the street, and uh, he started talking to me about just intonation. Well, 18 years in Nashville, Tennessee, I will tell you as a musician, I've never heard of just intonation. Um, it's an honor to be sitting here. Uh, Wikipedia's definition of just intonation is any musical tuning in which the frequency of notes are related by the ratio of small whole numbers. Um, I'm really not interested in Wikipedia's definition of just intonation. I'm interested in Slim Goldman's definition of just intonation. So without uh, further introduction, um, legendary Tempe, Arizona bass player, bassman Slim, good evening. Troy. Um, Slim, just intonation. Um, just uh, your definition, the heart, the soul, what is just intonation? Well, just intonation is natural music has been around since the beginning of time. Since the first vibration, the system was set up. When something rings as one, it also rings as two and three and four and five to infinity. And it stacks upon each other and they're all audible in vibrations. And so, and so when the, when the string rings as twos and threes and fours and fives, the first note it comes up to is the major chord, and that's why a major chord sounds happy to everybody. It makes us all happy, you know? And so that's the only reason why. If it, if it wasn't that reason, a major chord, uh, you know, would sound terrible, but, but it's nature. And so, so then, uh, then at the beginning, Music all used to be played in this. Pythagoras and, and his friends used to, you know, deal with this. And but then, but then uh, at the beginning of the classical era, um, around Bach, um, composers had their pianos and they wanted to be a little more complex and be more fancy and do more things than they could. And so, so, so they came up with a system called equal temperament which is where, I mean, in just intonation, you take all the harmonics and build the scale off of them. In equal temperament, here's what you do. You take a fifth, I mean, you've got an A string, a fifth, E, and you stack fifths on top of each other, you know, until 12 times they come back around to the one. And then they realize that uh, oh, this is, uh, I forget now, like 24% too sharp when we came back to the beginning. So we'll lower each fifth by 2%. And then when it comes back to the top, it'll be even. And that's what they did. And they, of course, they didn't have any regard to the major thirds or the sevenths or any of the other notes. And so they built a whole scale on that, and and there were many composers that were against it because they were just outraged. And uh, so this is the only thing you and I, our whole life, have ever heard: the equal temperament on every Beatles record, on every Stones record. Uh, it's all an equal temperament. You never heard. Here's another thing, is uh, you know how there's healing instruments like gongs and, uh, you know what I mean? Sure. Healing gongs. What else is there? Um, Tibetan bowls. You know why they're healing? Is because they've got all the natural overtones. So, just intonation is the purest. Of music. It is the purest. And there's two kinds as far as I'm concerned. 
There's JI-5, there's the... the uh, and that's just intonation, JI. Yeah, so JI only up to the number 5, and then stack 5s on top of each other, and 3s and 4s and 2s. And then there's the Ceres Vitae scale, the whole complete system, which is what the world needs for healing. That's very nice. And I do believe it. That is exactly what the world needs for you. Are you hearing what I say? 